It's time. It's time to draw the dinosaurus. What? What dinosaurus? It's time to draw the Pasikephalosaurus. 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 That sounds very, very, very interesting. Can you tell me more about this Pasikephalosaurus? I will show you. I will show you now the excavation site. And the excavation site is in my tattoo studio. The time has come finally to dig out this dinosaurus. Yeah. Here is the specimen of the Pasikephalosaurus. Oh, so let's dig out finally this dinosaurus. I waited so long for this. I was searching for this specimen. Uh, maybe for three months I was searching in Google everywhere because everywhere it was sold out. Oh, and this is my all-time favorite dinosaurus. <laughs> it's not easy to dig out a dinosaurus. Look at this huge box. And here he is. The Pasikephalosaurus! Oh my goodness! This box is huge! Oh wow, look how cute it is! Wow! This is uh, the original model from the film The Lost World. Jurassic Park number 87 of 150 Just 150 from those worldwide So and now let's open this beautiful box uh, It's a work of art too, the box So let's put out this And let's see what's inside I hope nothing is broken or so. So here is the stand. Looks amazing. Like a sand underground with the logo of the Lost World Jurassic Park. Here is a little tree and with his footsteps. Awesome man. Oh, it's heavy. 87 of 150. Chronicle Collectibles Limited Edition. So, and now the time has come. I waited so long for this. Whoa! Holy guacamole! Whoa. Holy shit! This is huge! So, let's put him out carefully. Like a baby! Oh my god! Here he is, the newborn baby, the cute little Pasikephalos. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is insane, <laughs> my dear friends. Wow. <laughs> it looks like real. Like the real one from the movie. Wow, and this coloring and all those little details. Look at the, here the the crawls. How do you say these nails and the feet? Look at <laughs> the paint job is just amazing. I love this bluish coloring from the movie and also from uh, the games, the very, very old games. There was also uh, a Pasikephalosaurus. 
<laughs> wow. It is way, way bigger than I thought. And uh, a lot uh, heavier. Much heavier. Three kilos. Plus minus with the stand. Five, six kilos. Yeah, so let's put him on the stand. <laughs> Here he is. I have no words, my dear friends. This is just amazing. That's what I call a dinosaur statue. This is amazing. I love all those details, the coloring job, how he stands, the eyes, and this, <laughs> this head, iconic head. Wow, wow, amazing. But that's not all, my dear friends. We have to dig out some other dinosaurs. Maybe it's a Pasikephalosaurus again. And I think, yes, it is. I ordered this also from eBay, from a seller from the US. It's something from my childhood, from the 90s, from the 90s years. Or is it? Yes, it is! Pasikephalosaurus! <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, it's good, <laughs> that's it, I had this toy as a child and I uh, was playing always when you press somewhere here, then uh, the head goes uh, up and down, the head moves and uh, it's awesome. And of course I have something more, everything is Dino's Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh yeah! <laughs> the Dilophosaurus! Uh, it's also very cool. Was also one of my favorites with his. You know what I mean? And then he's spitting this black stuff <laughs> from his mouth and killing the other guy from the scene from Jurassic Park, yeah. <laughs> Looks amazing. Okay, and so here is something else. I ordered this from uh, EMP, so a seller from Switzerland, a uh, clothing company and merchandise. And uh, it's a lot of cool, very cool stuff there. They not paying me, I'm just saying. Maybe when they see this video, then they will would say, hmm, maybe we could pay this guy that he promotes us a little bit. Yeah, buddy. It's a hoodie. No, it's a little jacket. Ah, oh, yeah, cool, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the backside, Isla Nublar. Wow, cool man with these prints here. Okay, it looks a little bit small. Or am I too fat? That's the question here. Hmm. Let's try it on. Let's get it on. Get a get a wa wa. Get a get a wa wa. Get a get a wa wa. Let's get it on. Okay, I'm too fat. Mm -hmm. Cool man. I like it. I like those colors, the yellow and the blacks. Look at the backside. <laughs> and now here comes the biggest problem. Where should I put him? So, and here he is. Uh, it's good that I can put away these shelves and make it in another other position. You have your new home now 
my little Pasikephalosaurus, 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 Pasikephalosaurus. Maybe in my other drawings you can find somewhere the Pasikephalosaurus. Tell me if you spotted him somewhere and write in the comments below. <laughs> and this? Hmm. Where should I put this one? Maybe somewhere on the walls. Hmm. I'm not satisfied 100%. I will see in the future. But I almost forgot this little skull of the Pasikephalosaurus. Let's open it carefully. Dinosaur mini model. Look how cute! Wow! This little head. Oops. So you have to stick it in. Stick it in. Stick it in here. And this one sticking here. And that's it, the little specimen skull of the Pasikephalosaurus. But it looks more like the Drocorex with these uh, longer spikes here. Hmm. Okay, let's leave this so. Look at this. <laughs> it would be cool, a real one to have. And now, my dear friends, the question of all questions is... Can I make a really nice tattoo design of this statue? Hmm. So, let's see what we can do. It's the first time for me. I want to test some color realistic with those Karan Dash colors. and skull discoveries, scientists assumed that he maybe also eat a little bit of meat because they found some sharp teeth in the front. Yeah. And uh, nearly all Pachycephalosaurus fossils have been recovered from the Lens formation and Hell Creek formations of the Western United States remains attributable to Pachycephalosaurus may have been found as nearly as early as the 1850s here. So here I was done with the sketch and now uh, let's start a little bit <laughs> with that micron pens to make a little bit of pointy background something here. And uh, yeah, it has been commonly hypothesized that Pachycephalosaurus and its relatives were the bipedal equivalents of bighorn sheep or musk oxen, where male individuals would ram each other headlong and that uh, they would horizontally straighten their head, neck and body in order to transmit stress during ramming. However, 
There have also been alternative suggestions that the Pachycephalosaurus could not have used their domes in this way. Alternatively, Pachycephalosaurus and other Pachycephalosaurid genera may have engaged in flank butting during intraspecific combat. In this scenario, an individual may have stood roughly parallel or faced a rival directly using intimidation displays to cow its rival. If uh, intimidation failed, the Pachycephalosaurus would bend its head downward and to the side, striking the rival Pachycephalosaur on its flank. This hypothesis is supported by the relatively broad torso of most Pachycephalosaurus, which would have protected vital organs from trauma. Yes, that's our, that are some informations about the Pachycephalosaurus. And I must say, I have read uh, the most of this from uh, Wikipedia. Yeah, that's true. And here I'm using now the colors. By the way, the colors are amazing here. Yeah? I'm using a toned paper, like brownish tone. Um, because when I use the white, it looks much better than you see really the white colors. Yeah, and I like this paper, it's amazing. What do you think so far? <laughs> my dear friends and yeah the pachycephalosaurus was my he is my all-time favorite dinosaur and yeah here he is with uh, his wife in the background looking maybe you see uh, that little eye and with two little babies of him because uh, for me this is so cute the scientists, they assumed that uh, the baby uh, Pachycephalosaurus had um, a little bit uh, larger horns on the backside and uh, smaller um, dome on the head. Uh, and with the time when they grew, the sharp spikes get smaller and the dome on the head bigger yeah. and here is of course a red diamond and here some leaves in the background and so on yeah the red diamond is just iconic for my logo of my tattoo studio it's a skull with a crown and a diamond yeah. first i thought i would make just a, a little tattoo design but then I told to myself, come on Darko, let's try something really amazing and realistic. And so, mm, yeah, I would say we could, of course, tattoo this on someone. Mm, but I must say that I'm not so experienced in uh, full color realistic tattoos if you saw some of my tattooing videos then you saw that i love to make uh, manga and sketchy style mostly in black and gray and just a little bit of colors mostly red because the most of my clients they they want black and gray but of course i would like to try something like this to tattoo something huge like this on someone yeah why not uh, uh, it would be a amazing challenge for me and i like challenges yeah this piece took me about I would say five hours and uh, I started filming on Monday and uh, I finished it on Friday and yeah I have recorded everything in um, 
real time and of course I would post also the video in real time so you can watch me drawing this in real time and yeah I think that was about five hours but of course I have not so much time I'm also working in my tattoo studio all the time and also working on my manga Revenge of Medusa uh, of course you can check out my artworks and stuff on Instagram just search for Daki Art and uh, follow this would be awesome and if you're still watching my dear friends then and you enjoy this video so far then hit that like button and of course subscribe that would mean a lot to me for you it's nothing but for me it's everything And that's it, my dear friends. <laughs> I hope you like this drawing process and the result. I think it's cool because, yeah, it's my favorite dino, the Pachycephalosaurus, with his uh, wife <laughs> in the background here looking and his two little babies and here is the skull and it's a kind of a circle of life this drawing yeah i hope you enjoyed it my dear friends don't forget to subscribe and click on the ringing bell now it's time to frame this one and uh, find a nice place to hang it somewhere on the wall maybe in my tattoo studio or maybe at home and maybe I could make some prints of this would you buy some prints if you would like this then uh, I would make some yeah and then you can buy them in my uh, online shop just tell me about it in the comments yeah right in the comments below thank you thank you guys thank you